Thank you for the opportunity to introduce this morning's plenary on urban resilience and the lessons from Hurricane Sandy and other disasters around the world. We at Itachi know a lot about natural disasters and resilience. Following the massive destruction caused by the earthquake and tsunami in Japan in March 2011, Japan faced formidable challenges in reconstructing critical infrastructure, and Hitachi played an integral role in that process. Several months after these tragic events, the Heritage Foundation released a report examining the lessons for the U.S. from Japan's preparedness in response to 311. Among other priorities, their findings revealed that designing resilience into urban planning and investment, particularly in the areas of transport and energy, is critically important. Regarding U.S. energy infrastructure, they emphasized investments in the resi resilience of the U.S.-Canadian electrical grid, including greater balance of investment between generation, transmission, and distribution of power. We know that New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey are already taking significant steps towards these goals in their statewide energy policies. The Heritage Foundation's second recommendation struck a particularly personal chord with me. The Heritage Report states, a nation's ability to restore critical infrastructure, particularly transportation, largely determines the pace of response to catastrophic disasters and is one of the most critical factors in addressing the needs of the most vulnerable populations in a disaster. Immediately following Hurricane Sandy, the second most costly disaster in U.S. history, Hitachi Cable America worked closely with our vendors and partners to create an aggressive plan to build replacement transit cables as quickly as possible. Working overtime in our New Hampshire plant, we did our part to get the world's largest transit system running at full capacity quickly after the disaster in New York City. There are a number of common truths emerging from the modern study of disasters. The first is that resilience needs to be built into the investment policy. A second truth is about human nature. It appears that when we are at our most vulnerable, or others are at their most vulnerable, our capacity for empathy, compassion, and care swells, causing us to do whatever we can to help those in need. Thank you.